the great froggy back ride. Ah, oh, yeah. We have all the colors of that beautiful Amazon rainbow right here. Great. Remember, all these transmitter chips need to be a different color. So they can't all be blue, Martin. Aw, uh, well, this one will be. Why do you guys like blue and green so much anyway? Green reminds me of nature. All the forests, jungles, and grasslands where I love to be. Blue is like the water and the sky and my eyes. And besides, blue is a primary color for paints. Green is just a secondary color. <laughs> yeah, well, green is better because it's a mix of two paint colors. Yellow and blue. That's way more interesting. Well, yeah, it's true, but you did use blue. Right, but color is pretty complex. When you're talking about light as opposed to paint, then green becomes a primary color. Green and red light makes yellow. Well, so I guess it comes down to this. All colors are cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Who splattered paint on this frog? I didn't do that. A poison, a poison frog. frog. He's fine. That's just how they look. They are so colorful. Wow. He's beautiful. Yeah, this one's called the cobalt poison frog. Scientific name, Dendrobates tinctorius. There are so many different kinds of poison frogs, all with their own brilliant colors. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Yep, all the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Hey, who did that without looking? Yep, Roy Jabiv. Say what? Roy Jabiv. That's how I remember it. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Roy G. Biv. Cool. That's what I'll name you. Roy G. Biv. First name Roy, middle initial G, last name Biv. Roy G. Biv. I think he likes it. Okay. Dart shaft ready. Just load the transmitter in here and we're ready to do some science. Okay, great. In order to study the home range of squirrel monkeys, we need to get those transmitters onto those monkeys. Squirrel monkeys live in big groups that sometimes break off into smaller groups. It can be kind of confusing, but if we track them, we can try to understand them better. But how do we get the transmitters onto the monkeys? The research blow dart is the perfect method. The special dart sticks harmlessly to the monkey's fur. Now that little transmitter sends a signal to our tablet. And we can see his movements on the map, even if we can't see him. Awesome! Let me get the next one with my yellow transmitter. That one. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 little monkey. Don't press that. Oh! She miniaturized us. Ooh. Hey, hang on there. That's not a toy. Yeah, we really kind of need that, so don't even think about running off with it. Come back! Oh, no, that monkey made off with our miniaturizer. If we don't get that miniaturizer back, we'll be mini-sized forever. We gotta catch up to that monkey. Is the transmitter working, Koki? Yes, at least we can track her movements. Okay, we'll go after the miniaturizer. And Jimmy and I will hold down the fort. I like that idea. Oh, wow, this place is so big, and we're like ant-sized. How are we gonna get around in here? I don't know, but we gotta try. Hmm. 
Oh, hey, Roy. G? Biff? <laughs> this is such a giant forest when you're such a small creature, isn't it, Roy? Yeah, Roy definitely has small creature experience. Maybe we should stick with him. Well, he is moving in the direction of the miniaturizer. Oh, I wish we had a creature power suit. Maybe Aviva can make us one. Let's call her. Incoming call! Hurry! I'm hurrying! Phew! Hey! I'm glad I left my old popsicle stick here. Okay, get on. Ready? Ready. Tortuga here! Aviva, we could really use a poison frog power suit. Can you make one? What? I'm Minnie! We could barely answer this call! We need a creature power boost. We can't cover any ground here. It's our only chance. Okay, I'll try. Just don't let Roy out of your sight then. We won't! Follow that rainbow! Okay, Jimmy, let's get to work. Rightio. But I'm gonna need a snack. Why are we stopping? Whoa, it's an ant crossing. <laughs> Amazing, a snack for a poison frog. How's that for a sticky-tongued wide mouth attack? <laughs> Thanks, Roy. I did not want to get run over by an ant. No, no stop. stop. Don't touch him. He has poison skin. Poison skin? Yeah, that's why they're called poison frogs. Some types of poison frogs have enough poison in their skin to kill 20,000 mice. And we're much smaller than mouse size now. Yeah, it's a great defense against predators. I'll say. But where does the poison come from? From the food they eat. Ants, termites, and millipedes have certain chemicals that the poison frogs collect in glands inside their bodies. These glands concentrate the chemicals and produce the poison. That means you better eat up, Roy. We don't want any predators to get you. Okay, Jimmy, stretch that rubber band right across here. This frog-like prototype is almost finished. A little more. They have a lot of stretchy, springy tendons built into their legs. I'm okay. <sighs> It's a lot harder making a suit in mini. I'm going to ask them to get me a DNA sample. Some skin or slime, that would make it a lot easier. Hey, where you going, Roy? Whoa, you gotta see this! What? It's a nest of unhatched tadpoles! They must belong to Roy and his mate. Cool! And Roy has been guarding them ever since the eggs were laid. That's one of his jobs. And making sure they stay nice and moist. Hey, maybe we can take just a little dollop of that slime for a Viva sample. Yes, of course. Sending a Viva the scan. She's got it. Hey, the tadpoles, they're moving. They're beginning to hatch. One's out. Welcome to the world, little tadpole. Happy birthday! Oh, wow, these tadpoles need names. I'll name them after the colors of the rainbow. You'll be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Um, what's going on here? A froggy back ride. A froggy back ride? Kind of like a piggyback ride. But pigs don't carry their babies on their backs. These frogs do. We got to see where he's taking them. The rest of you tadpoles wait here, OK? Hurry, he's climbing. They climb too? I love these frogs. I hope Aviva hurries with that suit. Climbing mini size isn't going to be easy. With this slime sample analyzed, my programming is almost complete. Poison frog powers? Uh, definitely. We can barely keep up with Roy. 
He's fast! That's for sure! Get set, Jimmy! <laughs> Teleportation ready! <laughs> and zap it! Where's that, Tiz? There it is! Can't lose it in the forest! Yeah, got it! Whew. Good thing I'm the climbing brother. <laughs> yeah, and since you got it first, activate, bro! Insert poison frog power disc. Touch frog with glove. And activate poison frog power! Which cool color am I gonna get? Huh? What? Where are the cool colors? Aviva, help! <sighs> That's what happens when I'm rushed. I gotta work on that. The poison isn't active either. Remember, you'd have to eat ants for that. I'll pass. But let's see what these frog legs can do! Ho <laughs> Whoa! Wow, these legs can really launch you far! Oh, I love leaping with frog legs! Cool leaps! Yeah! Hey, look! Roy's taking off! Can you give us a lift? All aboard for a froggy back ride! Wait for us, Roy! Woohoo! We are high now! Enjoying the ride? Whoa. Well, froggy back rides are pretty bouncy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! And slippery! Ugh. It's amazing that those tadpoles stick on so well. Hey, looks like that monkey troop is close by. <gasps> There's one! Those monkeys eat small insects, lizards, and amphibians. Roy, look out! She sees him! Oh, why is Roy so bright and easy to see? Uh-oh. No! no! <gasps> Good one, Mom. She's teaching him an important lesson of the forest. Oh, yeah, she's saying don't touch those bright, colorful frogs. They're poisonous. Amazing! So that's why they're colorful. Yep, a warning sign. One that's bright, obvious, and easy to remember. It's an awesome defense called warning coloration. So, if you're a poisonous frog, you want bright colors that'll stand out as a warning to predators. Exactly. But if you don't have poison, you want to blend in and hide from predators. Like my suit. It doesn't have poison or colors, so... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So, so we're, we're in trouble. trouble. Hop, Chris. Hop! I'm hopping! Aviva, come in. Mayday, mayday. We need color. Quick! I'm working on the update. We don't even need the poison, just the color. Yeah, just the color. The color! If you can get the color working, we can fool the monkey. They know that bright frogs are dangerous, and they think they're poisonous, even if we're not. It's called mimicry. Yeah, mimicry. Monarch butterflies are poisonous, but viceroy butterflies aren't. The viceroys just look like monarchs so that predators think they're poisonous. Same with the non-venomous milk snake, who looks like the venomous coral snake. Mimics! Yeah, so just get us that color. We need color! Okay, I'm hurrying. Uh oh, we're cornered. This is not gonna end well. I got it! Update suit! Please work. Yay! I have color! Aviva did it! I have a yellow and green speckled body! Awesome! Oh, you look cool, bro. And just in time. Way to go! Now they'll leave Chris alone! There's the monkey with the miniaturizer! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Can we have our miniaturizer back? Please! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Listen. 
There's something in there. Roy! Gee! Viv! What are you doing in there? <gasps> wow. wow! These cool plants called bromeliads gather rainwater. It's like a hidden mini swimming pool in the middle of the forest. Look, little red is going in. Oh, this is awesome. A great little pool to grow up in. Right, Red? So that's what the froggy back journey was all about? To drop her off here? That's right. The tadpoles need water to develop in. And check it out. Mosquito larva. Every pool is bound to have some kind of food in it. Larva, algae, invertebrates. Little snacks for tadpoles to live on. So this is where Red will live until she grows legs, loses her tail, and transforms into a bright, colorful frog. Like Roy. Speaking of color, I've programmed the entire spectrum of poison frog colors into your suit. Check it out. Wow! Whoa, awesome! awesome. Look at the colors! Hey, guys! Roy's on the move again! That's because he needs to find more pools for the rest of the tadpoles. Orange and the rest will each get their own pool. <gasps> it's her, the monkey with the miniaturizer. Quick, hop on. After her. Oh no, she's getting away. Go, Chris, go. Use those leg powers. Hold on, this is it. Yeah. Whoa. Stuck the landing. Quick, into the fur! I'm out of here. Hey, I got an idea. Let's tickle her. Why? Maybe she'll drop the miniaturizer. Tickle, 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 tickle. tickle. <gasps> Gross. Tickle, 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 tickle. tickle. <gasps> oh no, she's asking to get groomed. These monkeys are picking parasites. Doesn't she know we're not parasites? We're just ticklers. This plan is backfiring. Yeah, stay away from those monkey fingers. I'm trying. They're in trouble. I gotta do something. Hey, hey, monkeys. Check it out. I can do all the colors that poison frogs come in. accomplished. What an incredible froggy back adventure. Yeah, thanks for leading the way, Roy. We couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, we learned so much.
much about poison frogs. And about color, and how it can be really important to some animals. And we got our miniaturizer back. We even got a lot of data about monkey home ranges for our science study. Ooh. Hey, and check out the poison frog pattern I made up. <laughs> oh, that one is awesome. Thanks. Hey, and this is what it would look like on a frog. So cool. It's beautiful. Nice. And a good pattern. Here, can you do mine? Okay. Ooh. Whoa. Now mine. Ah. <laughs> Poison frogs are awesome. So is creature art. Right, Roy? G? Biv. 